Easy Presto is a newer brand to the coffee industry in the past few years and has quickly become a dominant competitor in the industry of hand grinders. They're creating some of the best hand grinders on the market and right when you thought they couldn't do any more and they've done their damage, bam, they release a brand new grinder. And this one is in their J series, which is easily their most popular line of manual grinders right now. In fact, this is the flagship to their J series, the Easy Presto J Max. Now I'm a huge fan of the J series grinders from Easy Presto and in the past comparison video, I dubbed it the best value home grinder available. So this both excites me and concerns me as this may leave some room for disappointment. So does the J-Max live up to its name? Does it deserve the title of Max or does it promise something more than it can handle? Let's dive into this. But first I wanna quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Now, if you didn't know, Skillshare is a learning community with thousands of classes for creators, explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and simply get lost in creativity. But Kyle, there isn't a class for me. How does this relate to coffee? Oh, let me show you. You see right now I'm deep into a class called Latte Art Masterclass by World of Latte Art. Yes, there are plenty of coffee classes on Skillshare. This class is teaching me different latte art skills like how to create fun art like butterflies, roosters, elephants, and even a sunset love tree. You see, it ensures hours and hours of coffee passion and learning. They're constantly adding new content and there are no ads, so your time is well spent. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in the top of the description will get one month of Skillshare for absolute free. Go click it, start learning, and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so let's talk about the J-Max. First, some disclosure. This grinder was sent to me for some early testing, but no money exchange, and they don't get to see this before you do. They also asked that I would share honest thoughts, so I'll do that. Today, we won't be comparing this to other grinders or share sift test analytics, as these will both be done in a longer video I'm currently working on comparing, in my opinion, the best hand grinders in the world. Yeah, I see you hitting that subscribe button down below so you don't miss it. And if you're down there, make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss videos when they come available. Okay, so Easy Presto has been creating some fantastic grinders from Taiwan that rival many of the best grinders in the market for a fraction of the price too. It's wonderful to see, and I believe innovation like this can truly push an industry forward. Manufacturers are pushed out of comfort zones to continue innovating and moving forward. Grinders like the JX and K Plus have been turning heads and winning reviews since their launch. Easy Presto recently decided to update the JX and add a pro model for more adjustment options. It's only seen the popularity of this grinder grow and home espresso enthusiasts have been loving it. Both of these grinders were fantastic for filter coffee with pretty okay espresso capability too. And this is where the J Max fits in. It not only promises the ability to do filter coffee, but makes wonderful espresso. This is where the grinder truly shines, espresso. You see the J Max shares the adjustment system of the Bigger Brother K series with the outward adjustment dial with its really satisfying clicks and ease of use without having to remove the dose cup. The J-Max uses 10 clicks per number with a total of 90 clicks per rotation. That's absolutely insane. And to make things more specific and nerdy, lean in coffee sweats, you'll like this one. Each click is 8.8 .8 microns of adjustment. This gives the J-Max one of the greatest flexibility adjustments for a hand grinder. For espresso, this is a dream, getting as close to being stepless as possible in a stepped grinder. Now, does this sound expensive? Well, the J-Max comes in at 199 USD, but the build quality is up to par with anything else from Easy Presso and beats other hand grinders much more expensive, swinging much higher than its price bracket. Now, they've also added the K-Series Magnetic Dose Cup, which clicks on and off without having to screw on the grind chamber. This is really great for quick workflow, though, if you're not careful, you can create a terrible, dreadful mess. Now, the J-Max also uses a similar texture material to the K-Series faux wood veneer on the center handle. Now, it's not exactly the same as the K-Series, but instead uses a rubbery texture. And I actually quite like it, much more than the traditional J-Series material with their rugged look at branding options on the plain black rubber. They didn't look bad, but in my opinion, they weren't photogenic either. Speaking of design, they added a Chinese Zodiac symbol for the Year of the Ox instead of the traditional Easy Presso logo. The body is a darker space gray color over the typical aluminum silver on the J-Series, and I'm digging that as well. Overall step up from the J series, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the aesthetics on this grinder down in the comments below. But what you truly want to know is how does this thing grind coffee? So let's talk about the burr set and workflow. 
And let's start with the burrs. The Max has a 48 millimeter conical burr set that is redesigned from the JX models. Not only is it coated in titanium to provide extra durability against extensive espresso grinding, it actually has a slightly updated geometry that focuses more on espresso than its filter coffee capabilities. The result is a grind that produces slightly more fines than its older brothers with more complex flavor profiles and slightly less clarity, which the JX really excelled at. Now, like I said, today we're not gonna sift the J-Max because I wanna involve this grinder in a comparison against others in the market to see how it compares in its consistency. But Easy Presso has confirmed that this burr will create more fines than the other J-Series grinders. And in testing, this seems to be true, but barely true. Comparing taste to the J-Series, it can be almost indistinguishable from their other J-Series grinders, but there is slightly noticeable difference in the sweetness that it produces, but at the sacrifice of some clarity in the cup. You see, espresso grinders often aim to create a profile that is sweet and sometimes complex, especially conical burr espresso grinders, and the J-Max is doing just that. The results are great espresso with good clarity and wonderful sweetness. Quite honestly, it is very hard for me to pick it apart from the JX for espresso. They're both great, especially for their price, but the JX and JX Pro don't have the adjustability that J-Max has. That being said, they're my preferred grinder for filter coffee for a few reasons. So let's talk about that. If you're buying this grinder, the J-Max, it's not gonna be for filter coffee. It's gonna be for espresso. Now that doesn't mean it can't substitute the need for filter or grind for filter coffee when there's a need to do so. It has the ability to do it and it can be a hybrid grinder like the JX Pro, but the JX Pro doesn't offer the small adjustments that the J-Max does. And sometimes I was finding myself wanting a grind setting in between two settings to finally tune in a shot to the next level. The J-Max is the easy choice for an espresso grinder. But for filter coffee, it becomes slightly harder to decide. While I love the adjustability of the Max, sometimes too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. And I believe too many clicks for filter coffee can be so frustrating. The adjustments between 8.8 .8 microns on filter coffee is near impossible to distinguish. If you think you can, you must be Lance Hedrick because I can't. Where well, you're going, woo! And I say you're doing the Michael Jackson, you're going, woo! Shout out to my boy Lance, absolutely amazing YouTuber and an incredible human being. If you're not subbed to his channel, do. He has amazing coffee content. Okay, let's get back to the review. But more than just unnecessary amount of clicks for filter, unlike the K-Series, the full range isn't simply on one rotation, but multiple. To get to espresso, you gotta go through one and a half to two full rotations before you have a usable grind. And for filter, you're talking about three to five full rotation. And that becomes confusing with no real way to mark which rotation you're on or know if you're in espresso or filter range. It truly is too much of a good thing here. Now I've heard people complain about Commandante's lack of numbers and the inability to know which click you're at, often having to reset back to zero to recount the clicks. Now I think the J-Max takes it to another level here. With the Commandante, you're gotta reset normally 20 to 35 clicks max, but the J-Max is more like 270 clicks. But maybe this is a necessary evil with espresso. And the J-Max is an espresso first grinder. It doesn't claim to be a jack of all trades, but rather a master of one. And I applaud Easy Presso for not marketing as such. They market this as an espresso first grinder. So, should you get the JX or JX Pro grinders from Easy Presso, the tried and true, or should you get the newest J-Max grinder from Easy Presso and spend just a little bit more to get the newest, latest, and greatest? Well, I really think this depends on your situation. If you find yourself needing espresso grinds more than filter and want the ultimate adjustability, the J-Max is an easy buy. But if you find yourself using hand grinders for filter coffee more often than espresso, and you want the ease of knowing where your grind adjustment is and not having to rotate hundreds and hundreds of clicks to change methods, the JX would be my recommendation, or the JX Pro. Although, if you want the best of both, maybe you should consider the K-Series but more on that in the future. So what about you? What do you think of the J-Max? Do you like the adjustment system and fine tuning capabilities, or would you rather focus on filter coffee? Do you like the updated styling of the J-Max, or do you hope to see this in future models from Easy Presso? Is this the first time you're learning about the brand Easy Presso? Let me know all of this and more down in the comments below. That's where I'll be hanging out. Now, before you leave, I would really appreciate it if you liked this video, if you found this at all informative or entertaining, it really makes all the difference and I would really appreciate it. And consider subscribing if you haven't yet. I have some personal goals in this year, 2021, here on YouTube, and I would really love it if you would be a part of that. Now go brew yourself a hot one. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.